Welcome back friends. In this video, I will show you how to create and use spell number function in Microsoft Excel. This function has multiple features like simple number to spelling conversion, converting currency values to spelling and defining the number of subunit digits. Because some countries' currency has three digits in the subunit. For example, currency of Oman has three digits in the subunit. This function has total four arguments. For the simple number to spelling conversion, use the first argument only. For the currency numbers to spelling conversion, use all the arguments. In this cell, let me write 122.67. In the next cell, use the spell number function. Click on the number, close formula, and hit enter. The number is converted to spelling format. If you change the number, result will auto-update. In this cell, let me write 987.99. Let's convert this to spelling in currency format. Click on the number. In the unit name, let me write US dollar inside double quotations. In subunit name, write cents inside double quotations. In subunit digits, put two because US dollar has two digits in the subunit. Close the formula and hit enter. Here you see, number is converted to spelling in currency format. Let's start learning how to make this function in Excel. To make this function, you need the VBA code. The required VBA code is here in this notepad document. I will put this code download link in the video description below from where you can copy this code. Select all the code, then copy it. In Excel application, click on Developer tab, then Visual Basic. In the VBA window, click on Insert, then Module. In the module, paste the code that you copied earlier. Close the VBA window. Now you should see the spell number function in the function name list. Write a number in a cell. Use the spell number function to convert number to spelling either in currency format or simple spelling format. To save this function in the workbook, click on File tab, then Save As. In the File Type list, choose Excel Macro Enabled File and save the workbook. To use the function again, open the macro enabled version of the file that you have saved. So, that was all about how to use spell number function in Microsoft Excel. Thank you so much for watching. See you in next video.